Hello guys, my name is Johnny Smith and I'm from the Society of Musculoskeletal Medicine. I've got a real treat for you today because I'm going to demonstrate one of my favourite techniques. It's called the pretzel and it's used as a mobilisation for acute low back pain. My patient here, Warren, has come to me today with a two-day history of acute low and right-sided low back pain following an awkward bend and twist motion when he lifted something up. As we can see from this position, his pelvis has shifted to the right and he's got visible signs of muscle spasm. So let's see what range of movement he has. So Warren, just within a comfortable range, can you arch backwards for me please, as far as you feel able? Okay, and come back. Can you side bend down to your left please? And come back and then down to your right. So really restricted. Finally, can you bend forwards for me? So again, quite restricted there, that's fine, and come back. Now at this moment in time, I'd like you to think and evaluate what would you currently do if this was your patient in clinic? One option may well be asking your patient to lay prone over a couple of pillows to see if that's a position of ease. Unfortunately today with Warren, that was too uncomfortable. When someone presents like this, it is important to get optimal medical management, so he may well need to see his GP to get some prescription strength anti-inflammatories, painkillers, and maybe even a muscle relaxant. You may well want to try and explore options of taping or TENS machines, but one of the reasons I love the pretzel so much is a nice form of manual therapy which gets an immediate response. So Warren, can you come and nice and gently lay on your back, please? And despite being in that acute pain, if we move gently, laying down on the back is often doable. Now it's always a good idea to use an objective marker to establish if your treatment's been effective. We don't want to get Warren up and down each time we do a technique because of the discomfort, so the straight leg raises are useful one to do. So Warren, I'm just going to lift your right leg up into the air. Tell me when it's as far as you're happy, which isn't very far, okay. So to do the technique, I need you just to bend both knees and have them on the plinth. I'm standing on his pain-free side and just have your arm just across your body. We're going to cross the good leg over the affected side. And reassuring the patient, we're just going to flex both knees and hips up to induce a nice gentle rocking motion to the lower back. You're communicating to your patient, asking him to tell you if there's any obvious pain because you want this to be quite comfortable. If this feels okay you can go on to the next stage which involves placing your leg just above his pelvis enabling you to add in a nice gentle element of side flexion. Again does that feel okay? Which is really nice just to stretch and then relax those soft tissues inducing gentle spinal motion. If that feels okay you can add in a final component of rotation with the knees coming down towards you. Okay. Once we finish that, we'll just return back to the starting position. And we need to see if we've been effective. So just lower your legs and let's repeat the straight leg raise. So we've gone a little bit further, which is a good sign. And you may well repeat that a few times. What you'll also find is when Warren stands back up, that pelvic shift may well have been resolved and he will often have a little bit more motion and feel a bit more comfortable. 